You better love yourself. You better love. You better, you better love yourself. You better love. You better love yourself. You better love. Hi guys, my name is Siobhan, pronounced like the material, and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to have finally launched my YouTube channel. I've been wanting to get on YouTube for a really, really long time now, but I always put it off because I've been in school and working and I just made so many excuses, but I finally made a channel, yay! So I'm super excited. I think it'll be super fun. So um, for my first video, I have decided to show you guys or share with you guys how to make clip-ins. So I ordered two bundles of 22-inch Vietnamese hair from Takara Miller Hair, and I am in love with this hair. So it is, it's Vietnamese, raw Vietnamese hair, and the texture is similar to my hair texture, and so that's why I really love this hair. And I initially made this video, well, a video that's going to show you how to do the clip-ins in November of 2019 and that's when I initially ordered the hair and so when the hair came it was a natural brown color which matched my hair color at the time but since then I dyed my hair black about two weeks ago it's March of 2020 now <laughs> so it's been a while um, so I uh, dyed my natural hair black. So I dyed the extensions black and they um, took, took the hair, uh, excuse me, took the color and they look really good. The hair is not tangling and it blends so well with my hair. So I haven't, I did not do my edges, so don't come for me, but I, um, it's like blending seamlessly with my hair. Like, I don't even know where my hair is in here. So let me try to pull some hair out. Um, so this is my hair right here. And like, my hair blends so well with this hair. That's why I really, really like it. And I end up getting a 22 inch because I wanted something that looked um, somewhat realistic. <laughs> it could blend really well with my hair. So this hair is, is long, but it isn't like crazy long. So it kind of goes down a little bit, almost to my waist. And then here's the back. I'll insert a little video um of me like standing so you guys can see the length of the 22 inch because 22 inches um and other from other brands can be short but this 22 inch bundles like there's no frail in so it's a 22 it's literally a 22 inch <laughs> sells this hair is really really nice she has great customer service there was an instance where I ordered a bundle on accident um, I ordered the wrong hair on accident and I was able to contact her immediately and she replied back to me immediately and we figured out the issue so you know great customer service she seems like a genuinely nice person I mean I don't know her personally I just know her from um, her business but um, yeah, I'll put the information uh, about the hair below in the descri description box. So yeah, this is the hair. I really like it. And I hope you guys like this video. Um, I hope you guys like how I set the camera up. So this is my first video and it's really, I don't, I wanna say hard, but taking videos of yourself and taking photos of yourself is totally different. 
different. You're trying to figure out what angle makes you look the cutest. Honestly, you want to be, you want to look cute. So I like try different <laughs> angles, trying to figure out what makes me like. How can I reflect myself on camera of what I look like in real life? if that makes any sense. But I think I got the angle okay for now. I got a little plant in the background. <laughs> so yeah, anywho, so I'll quit rambling, but this is the hair, I like it so much. This is my good angle. And uh, yeah, I like this hair so much. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video of me showing you how to make clip-ins from your bundle like comment and subscribe and comment below the type of videos that you guys would like me to do i'll probably do another video just i don't know styling i think styling the clips i think that'll be a good one so curling the clip-ins so that'll be another video that i'll do so yeah that's it bye guys <laughs> This hair from takaramiller.com and I will put the hair details in the description box below but I received this hair back in November or December of 2019 and I had ordered two bundles of the 22 inch Vietnamese hair and that's just me unwrapping it and it took about three business days for the hair to come um, probably even two was really fast. So the standard shipping is three to five business days, which you can pay extra for overnighting. She does the, do that. And I did overnight an, another um, hair length and it actually did come overnight. So that's just me co-washing the hair. So this hair did not come with a corn chip smell that may be associated with some bundles uh, like for Brazilian hair. But I ended up just co-washing it because it's just something that I'm accustomed to doing. So I did that. So I co-washed it with Pearlogy shampoo, excuse me, conditioner. And then I let it sit in the sink for about 30 minutes and then I rinsed it out. This hair was not hard to comb through. There, were, there was no tangling. And throughout the whole process, I probably got a total of eight strands of hair that came out of uh, both bundles. So um, there was literally no shedding. These are the ones that I got. It's called, oh, I'll be backwards on the camera. It's called Nipsey, so N-E-I-T-S-I -I, hair clips black. But these are hair clips you can get from anywhere like Sally's or the beauty supply store. I get these off of Amazon because I was like too lazy to um, go back outside to the store. And this was a set, set of 50 and I think it was like um, $10. And these are the smaller ones. So I wanted smaller clips, um, but it would have been nice if I got the bigger ones. I think these were like 1.3 or 1. Point, oh, it says one above. So 2.8 centimeters. So, which is like one point something inches. So, yeah, that's what I got. And they're really, really tiny. Probably could have got bigger ones, but this is what I got now. Um, and then I got some needle and thread. So, some people glue their clippings and onto their hair, but I'm going to sew them in because, you know, maybe I want to take them out someday and do something else with them. Then I got scissors and then some cones and of course it's crunchy to hold my hair so what i'm going to do first is um part my hair where i want my clip clippings to be so uh yeah okay so it's not going to be perfect obviously because i cannot see my hair but i want it to be pretty full and i want them to be um actually close so I'm going to have like um, close parts. So I did not, um, this morning I didn't straighten my hair. I just had my hair wrapped 
and I just unwrapped it this morning. So I just parted my hair with a comb and now I'm just like combing it up to separate from the rest of it. Okay. I hope this video turns out nice. Nice because I woke up early and I'm like sleepy. <laughs> I look crazy. Oh my gosh. Let me look. Let me try to look somewhat um, presentable. Okay, so I'll just use this clip instead because that looks okay. Not really, but yeah, so I'm going to use that clip. And I'm just trying to perfect my part. So although your, your part doesn't have to be exactly straight, I'm just like a type A type of person, I guess. And so I want it to be straight. I don't know. But okay, so what I do is I go from one end to the other. And then I'll cut that off. And so when it clips in, be from here to here. So I want to do one, two, one, two, three. But the third one's probably going to want to be a little bit bigger. So I'll just make two of this size right now. So let me get my needle and thread ready. Okay. Then you just uh, pull how much thread you need. So I'm going to have my thread um, to be doubled. And then you tie a knot on the end. So I'll do a double knot. Okay. All right, so I'm going to actually sew the clips on the hair. So her hair, I'm gonna put this the needle on this side because of this one on this front side looks a little bit more polished than this left on this side, but it looks like the same, really, honestly. So it doesn't matter. But you know how some tracks still come, you can see the tracks bare, which is like little hairs that's left over after someone sews the hair onto the, like the, the track. But this doesn't really have, the bears are so tiny, like you can't even see. Um, do you guys see that right there? Uh, let me see. Like those little, those little, little hairs right there. So you can't even see them, but usually if you do see them, make sure that you're sewing um, your clips on that, that side of the hair where it's, the beards are more transparent. That's why the, the beards are facing towards your head and not towards people who can see it. Okay, so to sew the clip, you wanna make sure that um the clips are rounded so you want to make sure that when you open up the clip they're in an, they're in a direction of grip hey of grabbing your hair like this so the little combs are be able to go towards your head and not away from your head all right and i got the um the clips that have a rubber little thing right there, and that way they do less damage than the clips with the metal clips.
clips you will break your hair off. And my hair is pretty strong thanks to, thanks to my stylist. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys, you guys can have more, uh, see more detail of what I'm doing to soon. The so next you one. have your track, and then you open up your clip in to where the comb is facing away from the comb is facing away from the track. So that way it can go into your hair. And then you line it up to where you want it to be on the track. So I want it to be sewed there. So what I'm going to do is grab the corner track and sew the track through this hole or the upper right hole of the clip-in. And then I'm going to knot, double knot it. Then I'm going to go through the other O and the upper, I don't know, whatever side, the other end, whatever side it is to y'all. <laughs> so the other end, which I haven't sewed down and go through the hole and uh, through the, through the weft. Then I'm just going to double knot it. I mean, uh, double thread it for security purposes. And what I'm doing is I'm actually wrapping the thread around the needle. And that way, when the needle comes out, it actually will make a knot. Little trick there. So, see how the knot form. It's really tiny so you can't see. But I'm going to make another knot. And there's your clipping. So now here's one clipping that's already installed. And then I'm going to make a part to add this second clipping in. And again, I'm making my parts really close because I want a more fuller look. And I basically want to use all two of the um, of two of the bundles. Okay, so I parted it as best as I as best as I could. The beauty about couplers is you're just you know, the parts don't have to be perfect. I'm gonna insert them. So. I open them so you see how the combs are kind of pointing towards you guys that's when it's open and that's when it's closed you don't see the combs pointing out so I'm going to open them and then basically insert the combs into the hair on my part and then close it and on this side I'm going to insert the hair into the part and then close it so now I have my two part, my two uh, tracks in. Ooh, that's long. So this is a 22 inch and my waist, well my, the top of my bottom region is right here. So this is pretty long for a, tw a 22 inch, you know? 
because sometimes the ends will be free, but these are like, the ends are really good here. So, which is nice. And one reason of why I got her hair, because a 22 inch is actually a 22 inch. Because sometimes, you know, you get a 22 inch and it comes looking like a 16 because the ends are frayed. All right, so I'm just gonna do that all again. I'm gonna continue um, parting my hair, measuring it, cutting the weft, Just finished installing one full bundle of the Vietnamese hair and it's a lot of hair you know I had a little piece left from the first bundle that's in my hand right there and then look how long the hair is this is 22 inches and from the root to the ends it is very full and after this, I continue to squeeze in the second bundle up here. So as I got closer to the top of my head, I started to make the parts closer together and also shorter. So the length of the width was smaller. And that way I had options in the top of my head. So if I wanted to do a middle part, if I want to do the side part, I have flexibility because the length of the wefts were shorter. But this is what it looked like before it styled. And my clippings aren't showing, but I can feel one right there, but that's okay. As long as it's not showing. So I'll do another video of styling and, and letting it blend in because I don't want this video be to be too long. Um, but hopefully nothing is shown in the back. I, I will get a mirror and look, um, you know, before I step out outside. Let me take my glasses off so y'all can see that it falls in my face because I like um, curved it at the top. Like I made my part, um, you know, curve up. But this is what it looks like. Like this is the natural pattern. Oh, I love it so much. I'll probably wand curl it. Let me stand up. Pretty long. Really long. So yeah, I'll style it. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. 